here's a sweet little vintage basket. That's very nice. I love the fact that it's green. $2.99 only. I think that's a real deal. I'm gonna take this, but wait till you see this. Oh my goodness. It's a huge plastic ball of flowers. I love the fact that it's orange. I could set that in a pot for spring. Yeah, I have no idea that, you know, it's not cheap, but wow, look at it. Isn't that just super fun? That's a fun bottle, but it's new. Yeah, I can't even get this in my cart. I don't mean cart, I mean basket. There's a couple more bud vases down there. I don't really need any more. But I like these too. Very nice. Isn't this the cutest? Miniature though. I mean miniature. Look at how tiny that is. And it's so lightweight. It's missing a lid, but I'm just showing it to you because it would be very, very cute with flowers in it. Little flower arrangement on a little shelf. That's adorable. Not gonna get it, just wanted to show it to you. That's a good deal. Uh, six vintage little sauce dishes for $4.99. Very good deal. Yeah, I forget who made those. But I like, I like amber color like that. Very nice for serving a little dessert in uh, in the fall. Look at this crazy set tea. Yeah. They're calling it $39.99 mid-century. Yeah, it's just worn out on one side. I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> Mom sat there, the kids sat there. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wild. Wonder what kind of wood that is. Hard to tell. I'm in a Salvation Army right now in the Twin Cities area. Sorry for the little kids playing. This is really neat. Uh, this is Daisy and Button. I've never seen this candy dish before. It is very exciting for me because I am looking for green glass. It's only $3.99, but that's because there is some chip right here. But that doesn't bother me because it's just beautiful for that price. So I will just show it this way with a little bit of damage in back. That's really nice. It actually was 50% off purple tags and something else. I can't remember. But probably not the green tag. But that's okay. That's cheap. I'm very happy I came in here. Well, looky here. A metal shelf. I have one like this in the dining room. This is in pretty good shape. And still could stand to be spray painted, but only $2.99. I think I'll take it for that. Yeah, I guess I should have gotten a cart. It's going to be hard carrying both those things. I don't know why I just don't grab a cart when I come in these stars. I must not have a whole lot of confidence I'm going to find something I can't carry. I guess I'll get this too. Cute, tiny little tray. I'm not sure what these were used for, but I used to have a collection of them. And they were Christmas too, but it is made in Hong Kong. So it is, it is an older item. A little wear in the back. 
Yeah. It's cute. A lot of green on it and orange. Sorry about the loud music again. It's right over my head. I think this is older. It's um, a lot like some things that I've collected over the years. This really nice uh, coated. I don't know how they coat this, but it's not my colors. A wine color is not anything I have anywhere. I think it was, what was it, $2.99? $3.99. Yeah, it's a nice, substantial wastebasket. I wouldn't hesitate to have that in a bedroom if I had that color, but I don't. Don't need it. I think this is really cool. I believe it's vintage string art. With all the little tiny nails in it. Very fancy. Hello shoppers. Gold. Today enjoy 50% off all red and purple tags. Again, all red and purple tags are 50% off. Today if you have a military or school ID, you get 25% off your items, excluding red, orange, pink, and gray tag items. Thank you for stopping shopping and supporting your local Salvation Army. No, I didn't hear what he said. Um, this is Luz, the cross in the middle. I don't understand why it's sticking out like that. It doesn't feel like you can do anything with it. Sorry, I keep bumping it. It's very loose. I think it would be very neat without the thing in the middle, but uh, without the cross in the middle, just because it's sticking out like that. You'd have to put something on there, but that's very cool. I don't see string art very often. So it's $4.99, really reasonable. Very neat piece. Here's the uh, candy dish again, just for size, proportion for you to see. Look at this big grape patterned compote, $5.99. But it evidently includes all these grapes here and this is really nice. There's some grapes missing on it, but an antique mall would charge $5.99 just for this cluster of grapes. <laughs> yep. I just don't like the purple showing with that iridescent finish. If this had been plain or more your um, old marigold carnival glass look. I don't know, is that newer? When you see it that that much purple on it? Mmm, yeah, I just don't care for those colors. The fuchsia and blues showing on on that. It's too bad. I like the grapes, but that's all part of this. So, I'm going to pass on that. I happen to dig in the bottom of a cart. <laughs> the little one with the green antlers is cute. I've got a lot of them like this one. They're both $2.99. Yeah, I don't need to spend $6 on those because I already have quite a few. Funny, they're in the bottom of the cart <laughs> over here. Don't see anything else in there. Hi everyone. Thanks for being here today. I'm hoping you're enjoying the video so far, but I wanted to stop at this point here before we go on to some other stores that I recorded in. I want to share with you some of the items that I did not get filmed. Here I have two salad or dessert plates by Corel from the 90s for $2.99. It's called Gingham in Hunter Green and this was from a store that I don't get to very often called Unique Thrift in New Hope, Minnesota. I also decided to pick up four more of the same size plates at the same place for $5.99. 
These are called Rosemary. I shared this darling little bird that I put a candle in and showed you in our spring living room tour. I just wanted to show you that it was 99 cents because I probably couldn't remember. And I found it at a nearby uh, thrift store, Arks Value Village, also in New Hope, Minnesota. This fancy egg was from another thrift store, Abel Light Thrift in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Sometimes it's nice that we hit it on a Monday when it is Senior Discount Day. I found this really sweet egg and I think it's wood. I can't find where I put it right now to touch it again and see if that is uh, wood, but I'm certain it's hand painted. So by the time I got a discount on that, it was only 75 cents. Next are some fun things from Family Pathways stores. I love this mirror. It is 14 inches across. Very nice size and I plan on having Norm spray paint it in this same copper color that this one was. You can see it's got a lot of wear on it but they actually only painted the very top surface on it. They didn't do, you know, like the whole insides of it. So that's what's going to happen when Norm spray paints it. It'll end up with it inside the cracks too. I um, give myself a lot of work, don't I, having to dust these because I love the ones that are open like that but I use the Swiffer Duster on a wand. It's so easy to, you know, turn it over, get on both sides of it. It works pretty good, but you can't use them on a mirror. I don't know if you ever noticed that. Or on a window, they have something on it that smears up the mirrors, so you have to be careful with that. But I do love this mirror. It's going to look really nice in a grouping of other starburst type mirrors that I really like. Next here are a couple of uh, vintage necklaces. I still weaken when I find them so cheap. They are just so cute to even display if that's all you're gonna do with them. I found this one and thought it was really fun. I don't know, maybe this is from the late 70s. I, I just don't know. It's very difficult to find an item like this on the internet. Just too hard, but I like them. Then uh, the next one is a rope necklace. Could be more 60s, maybe even 70s. I don't know. It's really textured. It reminded me of snowflakes. I've been collecting old Hong Kong rope necklaces for years that are typically flowers, but they'll often be with the similar beads that were in this one, the diamond shaped ones, or cubes. So I kind of think this one also looks like something that was from the 60s. I had a hard time leaving this behind because it was so ridiculously inexpensive especially after my discount again. It is a 70s faux wicker towel hanging ring by Home Co. So it is supposed to be white, but it's kind of a little bit of an off-white. You never know, if I decide to use it, I may have Norm spray paint that too, and make it real fresh looking. Probably white, but you never know what I might do with it. I might not even use it, but I still couldn't pass it up. I know this isn't overly exciting, but I actually have never seen this face before. It's the real small size, a six inch one. There are, you know, the taller ones that I get often and matching smaller ones to those that have more of a, a more elaborate pattern on them. But I just was really surprised to see this bud vase. Um, I like a variety. If you want to do a little vignette of your milk glass bud vases, I think 
they look really cute, of course, to have your smaller sizes. So this was so inexpensive, I decided to pick it up. I'm not sure when I'll use it, but I'm pretty sure I will. Here is the last item from Family Pathways, where I still got my discount. I'm showing you the back of a beautiful tray first, so you can see what it is. I have no idea of the age of it. I couldn't find it on the internet. I did find one cat tray by that company, and it said rare. It's in beautiful condition. I just thought it was so colorful. I thought it would have been really fun to show you for Easter, but unfortunately, because of Norm's surgery and just too much going on uh, with other things I've had to do, I, you know, we, we just can't take out Easter stuff this year. It's sad. I know. I feel bad. I hope you will watch our other videos. And we really wish you a very blessed Easter and blessings to last all the way through the year. Thank you so much. The next videos are at Hutchinson, Minnesota. It's the Hutchinson Health Auxiliary Thrift Shop. And then I will be shopping by myself a little bit at a Goodwill in our neighborhood. So thanks again for staying here and watching the rest of this fun video. Color. Well, that's cool, kind of. 24, yeah. It's um probably pretty common glassware. Oh, hey, what's this? Look at that. Isn't that something? 250. That's cool. I got one of those in the basement. Yeah. yeah, Melissa loves those. She's talking about them all the time. That's, uh, that's, that's quality enough for um, our actual fancier uh, yeah. Italian green glassware. Really? We have. Ooh, aren't these pretty? I, I won't get them, but there's two of these. Look at how pretty that pattern is. This comes in different colors, too. Yeah. I've seen it in amber. I don't know what other color. Green. There's $2. another one next to it on the counter at the yeah, shelf there, huh? Okay. They're beautiful. Beautiful pieces. Oh my, there's um, a whole stack of little, tiny little serving dishes over there. Oh Aren't yeah. They fancy. Yeah. You know, now I can tell people I went fishing today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Didn't I found, even have to break any ice open on the I lake. I found this for a dollar twenty-five, and it's pretty cute. Yeah. Nice little miniature. Uh, it's cute. Swan yeah. porcelain. I'm at the uh, thrift store in Hutchinson again today on a Thursday. This one's got a bow on it. The blue bow. Oh, yeah. That's different. On the bottom Is that shelf. amethyst? I think so. Uh, maybe not. I... Looked like it had a it green... It could. could be. It's hard. Looked like it had a glow to it, but well, can't yeah, see through it. Really hard. You'd have to hold it up to the sun. Oh, well, the sun's not out today, so... That's pretty cool, but I, again, got a lot of ducks down here. This place is real quack. That's a spoon and supposed fork. Supposed to be a spoon and a fork. Salad set, yeah, from, I don't know, it could be 60s. I gotta use your imagination on that. Yeah, very mod, I know. But what the I've heck is seen this them, thing? I've seen them uh, a bread warmer kind of pricey. with a zipper and a kind of wicker pricey. basket. Yeah, I've never seen one of those. Wow. This is a well known That's nice. That's a well known piece. Oh, there's a fish, yeah. The dolphin? Yeah. Let's see the top of I'm not it. sure who made it, but why is there? Oh, here, five seventy-five. Outrageous! You can't afford that. Can you believe it? No. Yeah. yeah, I just don't. I don't work with pieces like that anymore. You don't. No. I just did. I, well, I mean, I don't use them. I know. I'm kidding. Two dollars and seventy-five. And seventy-five cents. cents. Isn't that crazy? That's nuts. That's. I believe that's Wexford. That's really nice. Uh, I can't believe the prices here. Isn't that adorable? It's teeny teeny. What's the name teeny, of that mouse they call tiny. it? Tiny Topo Chicho. Really? No, he's a guy. That's a guy. 
Mm. This is a cute girl, but she, look at look at how tiny she is. Yeah, look at the flowers. Just super tiny. Don't know if I can get that close. Yeah, it's coming in sharp. Yeah. Isn't that adorable? Seventy-five cents. It was hiding way back in there, and all those angels. But look hiding at this. Way back in there. And this was way around the corner. Oh, are those, those are huggers? Huggers. Candle huggers? Yeah, they're off white, but you could spray them. Yeah. I'm waiting for the magic words. Norm, do you think you spray these for me? One dollar. Totally different kind of candle ring. Yeah, they're... You know, I've seen some like that. That takes a pretty hefty candle. You think we should get those for a dollar? Sure. They're heavy. Yeah. I have no as idea as their age. the doesn't fall over. Yeah, I have no idea what their age is, but it would be interesting to see how okay. they work. So you want these two? Yeah, I've got just one that size. It's a smaller size. And I have just one, but for that's a dollar. A little, that's a little pitcher. Look at a little uh, uh, Creamer, a little creamer? miniature creamer, maybe. I guess art, so. It's art glass. Yeah. Cool. That is nice. You're in the green all of a sudden, aren't you, today? Yeah, of course. This is pretty, isn't it? It's got a mirror in the background here. Edwin M. Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S, China Company. Isn't that cool? Twelve dollars for the pitcher. Beautiful. Salt and peppers are six dollars. Nine dollars for the pie plate from the 40s. 1940s. Isn't that something? Pretty sad. I have like three sets of these. I really love them. And I use them a lot. I'll take them out for Easter. They are marked $1.50 each, which is really a deal. Yeah, pretty popular set. Uh -huh. yeah. I was going to show you this fairy lamp sitting on the shelving behind the checkout. $55. Wow. Huh? Frosted. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who did that. Can't read. Just want to make sure. Rare. Three pieces. My fountain. Oh. I see. This is very pretty. I don't know what it is. Very pretty. Uh, I don't know. Apothecary? What would you call that? It's not real short. Beautiful pattern on it. You can't find it. This is also pretty. I don't usually buy double ones, so it's $8.99. You probably could try to look it up. It looks like it's a uh, colony by Fostoria. Yeah, kind of cool. Very twisted. Swirl design. These fancy gold rim. There's four of them, two ninety nine each. They're so big, I can't get my hand around the bottom of it. I have to hold it by the stem. <laughs> Pretty. Well, the Easter stuff is out here too in our neighborhood, and this is pretty amazing. I just don't think I want to store it though. It's a hobbyist big egg for $4.99, so that's a good deal. Look at this. That is a very cute little basket. Hobbyist also, I assume. Looks like it to me. Very cute, lidded basket. <laughs> there is... Oh, boy, it's noisy here. I was looking at... 
Oh, there's another set. Oh, they're so adorable. Huh? It'd be so cute in Norm's window, but they're just so big to store. I saw this last year in a different color scheme, and that is cheap for the size of these. $4.99. Isn't that cute? Little egg cup. That's a cute bunny. Very sweet. But I have too many rabbits. I think they're multiplying in our house. Wow, isn't this pretty? It's a off-white. It is cute though. Yeah, lots of Easter things. But, and this, this was a very, very cute bunny too. Don't need it. Made in China. Okay, well, I just want you to see that unusual egg. Really big. Bless you. Isn't that sweet? Oh, they're so sweet. It's musical. It's like a little key is missing out the back. What was that? $4.99. Japan piece. Really nicely made. So sweet. These are beautiful. They're extremely heavy. Wow, I can see them for cookbook bookends. Really, really heavy. $8.99 each. The sticker says made in Taiwan. ROC. Yep. Really heavy. Oh my goodness. Aren't they beautiful though? They're both a little bit different in the amount of orange on them. Gorgeous. What a beautiful little teapot. Wow. Fun gold dots. It's very nice. Six ninety nine. Can't tell the uh, there's a name on the bottom of it that's covered up with their sticker. Oh, I've never heard of this before. It's called a coal coal tray. C O A L. Don't carry hot coals. Who would? <laughs> and also, sorry about the squeak. They also said handmade. How can that be? I don't know. They must be new. There were some on the internet. Just like it. Oh, that's weird. These are tongs hang over there. Yeah, that's really strange. $6.99 for this great pattern. Yeah, did Indiana Glass do that too? Anyways, yep, $6.99. But I like the deeper, uh, more intense white nail glass. This is a pretty pottery piece. I'm sure it had a creamer. That would have been a beautiful set. How much was that? $6.99. Way down here, six ninety nine. See, it says USA on it. Well, it is old. Very pretty, but I don't need it for seven dollars. Nope. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Should I weaken? This is pretty wild. Looks Halloweenish. Guess what it is? I don't know. 
USA, maybe that says. Hard to tell, but I think. I don't think it's treasure crap, but it's pretty cool. Yep. I don't really need more snack dishes like this tidbit. Oh, tidbit dishes. It's really sweet. I think I'll pass.